Well, after years of work to repair Boone Dam, the Boone Lake Reservoir will be back to full pool by mid-July. Hard to believe, right? Yeah. It's been a big moment for the local landmark lake that's been through a lot. TVA dropped Boone Lake dramatically in 2014 when engineers found potentially catastrophic erosion near the dam. TVA said the repair work on the dam is essentially complete and all repairs appear to be working. Final testing is underway ahead of the project completion, which is set for Memorial Day next year. Now, all day we've looked at the wide ranging impact of this project, and tonight we're asking could what happened at Boone Dam happen again there or at any other TVA dams in our area? It is a question worth asking because TVA dams are critical infrastructure. It's just amazing when you see all the things that the river system touches and how they manage these through the dams. It's critical for that purpose. But these man made walls built to stop recurring flooding and produce hydroelectric power are now getting old. The infrastructure is aging. Chris Sochet is part of TVA's dam safety program. He says his team constantly monitors TVA's dams, many of which are older than members of the dam safety team. Fort Patrick Henry Dam in Kingsport, built in 1953. South Holston Dam, it's been around since 1950. Watauga Dam, since 1948. And nearby Wilbur Dam, it was built before the TVA even existed. Completion date, 1912. And then there's Boone Dam, finished in 1952. 62 years later, it became clear there was a need for an urgent and expensive repair. Could that happen again at one of the other dams? Well, anything's possible, but we don't see anything in our inventory uh, right now that causes us any concern. This seems like a Boone specific That's correct. anomaly. What we see here at Boone is a pretty unique combination uh, influenced by its geology. And the specific combination we've seen here at Boone, we, we don't see that specific combination in other sites. But Soche says that confidence doesn't bring complacency, pointing to nonstop inspections above water and below. Here's video of a TVA inspection hands on at Wilbur Dam. We're doing the right things, and I sleep well at night. These dams were the, the very first parts of TVA. Uh, and the very first parts to meet our mission, and we continue to do it today. TVA says it has spent $400 million on dam safety projects since 2010. You can watch our series of special reports on the Boone Dam Repair Project right now on WJHL.com. Log on and look for Restoring Boone Lake. And we'll be right back.